Page 34, Little Spring Song. This is another piece you can play for people and they say, well, can you play the piano? Well, play me something. Ah, well, we better talk about this a little bit. First off, at the beginning, you see the key signature? What they've got there? All that mess at the beginning? There's three sharps there. They're really piling them on, ain't they? The first one is always the F for the F sharp, right? The second one is always a C for a C sharp. And now they've added a G sharp, a G sharp. And that happens to be the third one always, always a third sharp. It's in the key of A major, A major. So if I played the notes on a piano from A to A, and I added in those three sharps, I could get an A major scale. So I got an A, B, C sharp, remember C sharp? D, E, F sharp, G sharp, A. I got an A major scale, right? They don't tell you about the scale. I wish they would. John Thompson, please, you should be explaining the scales on these things. The position is, if you look at it, is an A position, because A is the bottom note in each hand. And when I put it on there, I don't use white coat notes here, because there is a C sharp in this key, so I have to put the hand, fingers on C sharp. And in case you're wondering if I want to build a C triad, I'm sorry, if I want to build an A triad, remember, you just remember the rules. Start on A, go up a note, except in this key there's a C sharp, not a C, so you got to do that one. And then go up another note, and you got E. And by going up a note, I'm going up a note in the scale. And that is an A triad, an A chord. Doesn't matter where it is, it's an A chord. If I played that triad and added another A on top, that is an A chord also, but it's not a triad because there's four notes in that. You, you get my drift? I heard you say, uh, yeah, yeah, go on. Over on page 35, third line down, last two measures in the right hand. You see what they're doing? The left hand is here. The right hand crosses over because they've introduced a bass clef there. The right hand has to cross over and play the low E. Yes, that's a E, a low E. Way down there. Way down. Not this E. That E. Be, be prepared for that. Then in, in the next, the first two measures of the last line. The right hand is there. You're already down here for the previous, and then in the last two or in the first two measures of the last line, you're doing the A. Right? So the E with the two and the A with the five. Right? Right. And then you you've got an E and an E, and the last note in the piece is that A. Not the most comfortable thing in the world, but then who said piano was comfortable? So sometimes you gotta reach. Right. Don't lean. Don't go oh. twist your torso if you can. Sometimes you gotta lean a little, but please don't twist your torso and reach for it. Let's play this together very slowly. So you're starting out in A position. We'll see what happens. One, ready, go.
Now they're saying this is Andantino, which is there's a difference of opinion what that means. Some say it's a little slower than Andante, and some say it's a little faster than Andante. I don't know what it is, but I would play this piece more or less like this. <laughs> 